Good morning, everyone. Welcome to getting started with Kubernetes and container orchestration. Um, if you are in the wrong tutorial, you still have a minute to <laughs> to get to the right room. Um, so the um, you will see the address of the slides on screen. It's also on the little piece of paper that you should find on your table. So that's QCon UK 2019.container.training. The whole slide deck is online and will remain online for a while uh, for future reference. So I'm Jerome, and um, today I'm also helped by AJ, who is in the back of the room. Um, so we will run this from now until about 4 p.m. We will obviously have a break for lunch around noon, and we will have uh, coffee breaks. Um, if, um, by chance, if you see that we are past the time of the coffee break and I'm still going through slides, um, don't hesitate to throw a blunt object at me to remind me that we should stop and uh, and have a coffee and a walk and uh, and a short break. Um, you're welcome to ask questions at any time, especially when you will see full screen container pictures. You will see what I mean in just a minute. Uh, you can also ask for help through a Gitter chat room. Uh, I'll give you more details on that in a couple of minutes as well. Um, so the, the content that you will see today was initially written for tutorials like this, with somebody in person like explaining things, um, but it's also been adapted so that you can uh, view or review this on your own. So if, for instance, you want to review some chapters on your own layer, you can because the content remains online, and I try to have as much information as possible in the slides um, so that it can be... Uh, as self-standing as possible. And if you really like that workshop, you can even tell your coworkers and friends in the in the same area that they can look at these slides and, and hopefully get something out of it as well. Um, the content uh, is public. Uh, so not only the slides are public, but the source of the slides uh, are public as well. Uh, and you are welcome to use and reuse that if you want. Uh, if you want to deliver that training to your coworkers, or even if you're a professional trainer and you want to make money out of this, it's perfectly fine. Uh, the, the content is public for that very reason. Um, the content is in a public GitHub repo, and you will find builds of the content uh, on container.training. When I say builds of the content, uh, that's because the source of these slides is in Markdown. And so, for instance, when you are on any slide, if you hover the mouse over like to the, to the lower edge of the screen, there will be a little black bar showing up, uh, telling us the, um, the source file uh, for that slide. And if I go there, it takes me to the GitHub repo. And then I get the, the, the Markdown source of the slide. Uh, this helps like to, easily submit a pull request to uh, fix something or to, to, to ask questions if, if needed. Um, you will see a bunch of slides with this little magnifying glass in the top left corner. Uh, this means this is extra information. Um, this information is here for a couple of reasons. First, uh, because when I assemble uh, a slides deck like this, there is often information that I would like to mention but I also have to be mindful of time. We only have one day, not two or three or five. So there is lots of information that I still include in the slides, but that I will cover only very briefly. But I leave it in any way because I, I think it can be useful. The goal of these slides is also to make sure that we can um, adapt to a, a really wide audience. Some of you maybe have never um, interacted with Kubernetes yet, so I don't expect you to dive into these slides, but some of you might already have significant amount of experience with Kubernetes. And then um, when I will be explaining some rather easy things, you might want to look into these slides to hopefully uh, get some uh, useful extra information. <clears throat> 